Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. It must be time for a moon message. Today's moon is the last quarter moon under the astrological sign of Virgo. This reading is for Leo. I'm trying to put my mic in here. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node Leo. Holy Spirit, Angel Guide, Spirit Guides, what is the December reading message for Leo? Hi, Leo. Thank you for stopping by, hanging out with me for a few minutes. Let's see what Spirit has to say, Leo. Okay. Full moon, new moon. Calm down. Cooler heads prevail at this time. A fresh start requires you to let go of the past. Aries and Cancer. Oof, I feel that ego and pride. You're like riled up. Spirit is like saying, bring it down. Bring it down. Calm down. Mm, cooler heads prevail at this time. Right, because when we're all explosive, we're not thinking correctly. We're reacting rather than reacting to the situation rather than acting from a well-thought-out standpoint. Like when you're calm and you're cool, you're able to think things out. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you're excited and everything, you're just reacting to what they say with no thought. It's just anger matching energy with energy. Okay. Calm down. Cooler heads prevail at this time. And that's the Aries moon in you, uh, full moon in Aries. Spirit is saying there's a warrior inside of you. Like somebody can, they know what trigger to, what button to push, what to do to trigger you. Mm. Aries energy uh, is the emperor, the empress, always in control of their emotions. I know child sometimes it's difficult they just know what button to push and you give it right back to them a hundred percent okay but that was the past that's the past that's the past because there's something new coming in and you're not moving the same way that you have been moving in the past you're not reacting in the same manner you're not giving the same type of reactions to the same triggers like if you're aware that somebody is triggering you and they expect you to react this way because you've done it in the past they're going to be fooled mm. they're going to be fooled yeah i feel the emperor the empress here with this aries energy mm -hmm. mm. okay Spirit said, don't say anything until you get all of Leo's cards out on the table. Moody. Mm. Okay. Yes, Spirit. Alrighty. Your first card is the Six of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Pluto is in Aquarius right now. So I do see you calming down six of swords means you're in control of your thoughts you're you are calming down because the things are rocky around you the waves the water right but you choose to just stand still almost like donnie mcclurkin stand <laughs> yes dang yes this could have to do with betrayal. Somebody betrayed you, didn't act in a manner in which they should have acted to an emperor or an empress. Wow. Yeah. 
you know, this person or you, you want a fresh start. Somebody may not have acted correctly in the past and now they want a fresh start. I, I'm hearing that too. But this is kind of somebody knowing who you are. You know, they are not interested in everybody else now. Somebody has like a new vested interest in you, Leo. Like it's either you or them but there's this interest it's undeniable this is somebody that had you had a stormy rocky pass but somebody wants to give it another chance wants an opportunity they sit and contemplate about you you are their wish fulfillment this is at the center of the reading Cancer, new moon in Cancer. Somebody wants to make it with you. They want to build something, a fresh start. It does require letting go of the past. And there's Pluto again, transformation. All things are possible, right? A fresh start requires you to let go of the past so that you have the ability to usher in something new absolutely to be available to be reciprocal when it comes somebody needs to change their perspective this is that thinking i was talking about and when you're trying to reassess to change your thinking to make sure that it's fresh it's current it's new like you're not accepting the status quo, the old way of doing things, the, your old thoughts, the way you moved in the past. Everything is changing. Pluto comes in to transform, to change. Making you uncomfortable if you don't change. Right. That's what I see happening here. Somebody's perspective needs to change. But in order for do, to do that, they need to calm down and be rational think with their head because the heart is bringing up other emotions and energies that are clashing right mm. this is about somebody maybe asking for help five of pentacles is here see there's a key there by the door so if they look up they could help their self even possibly but you have to be willing to change your perspective somebody needs help in doing that they really see you as their wish fulfillment like they're moving towards you but it's in their mind like they're like they want to they want to they want somebody wants a fresh start with you feeling it you know they have come to this point because their perspective has been changed they've gone through a lot in life that has brought them to value what is important now they see your value okay what else spirit Leo, December. December is called the cold moon month. And it has two new moons. Two opportunities for a fresh start. Just make sure that you have a place for those new opportunities in your heart, in your mind. For them to come in and reside and stay for a while. Mm. this is calming down cooler heads prevail but we always have a choice on whether we're going to meet energy with the same type of energy or we are going to transmute that energy to totally throw it off balance this has to do with love a soulmate hurt you you hurt them one of you still has hope. 
I don't really know how the other feels, but somebody does want a fresh start. I was feeling that. Like they want you almost to let go of maybe what this betrayal in the past, whatever that consisted of. They want you to forgive. They want to know, can we transform this? Pluto has somebody thinking they can transform something with you. They can change it. If, if I stop with all the options, if I make Leo the only option, wow. <laughs> that would transform things. Yes, Leo doesn't want to play. Mm, you have two kings here, the king of swords and the king of pentacles. First of all, that's maturity. And that's what I feel like, you know, you've matured. The way that you're handling it, even in talking to this person, it's like they can hear the maturity in your voice. They can also hear that you're not playing. You will cut them, the king of swords. Why well, cut them right off? Cut, cut. And you're not squandering your resources, your time, your energy, Leo. A lot of people, you may have done that in the past. Like you take people to dinner. Uh, you are at the bar buying everyone drinks. But no longer, no longer. There's uh, something new. Now that you have had time to think about what you did in the past, you also know what you want to change in the future very focused on yourself your wish fulfillment starts with you loving you discovering what makes you happy what's important to you it's very hard to show somebody else what makes you happy and you don't know right you haven't taken the time to discover mm. Something very introverted about you, inside of you. <clears throat> oh, it's about changing the whole situation regarding a specific love, regarding love in general. Just your perspective on love has changed. And we show others how we want to be treated by the way we treat ourselves, the Ace of Cups. That's right. That's what you're doing currently. That's why you're not being reactive to a lot of people. Whatever they're throwing at you right now, you're not meeting all energy with the same energy. Except when it comes to love. I do see in the future that changes. Why, Moody? Because we're talking about real love here. True love. The Ace of Cups is real love. And when we meet real love with real love, it's like magical. It's a tower moment. It's the key that opens the door. I, I felt that before. But wow. It's like everything changes. There is a fresh start. starts with your perspective a perspective a change in values m morals it's more of an alignment as you begin to change that you then begin to align with who is for you with what is for you the chariot whereas this person didn't pick their head up and look at that key and then get up and then get that key and then open the door. <sighs> they weren't doing that in the past, but when the chariot shows up, their head is up, right? It's not down. Matter of fact, they're on top of the chariot. Mm -hmm. Standing, directing the course of action. Hmm. This is the Ten of Pentacles. Remember I said somebody makes you the option. Somebody had a lot of options in the past and then suddenly they make you the option. It's a tower moment. It's unexpected, but it happens. And that change brings about this fresh start. <laughs> Tell me, spirit. It changes everything between you two. 
It's like the past doesn't exist no more. It's only the future. Oof. What? Not reacting in the same way. You release the past. Things elevate. Freedom, liberation. That is that Aquarius energy. New direction. This is that fresh start. <sighs> Purging the past. Going into a new direction. I believe that no matter what happens, because, you know, we can't control how someone reacts, right? But you, somebody makes an effort, a concerted effort to reconcile they're very cool calm and collective they're willing to fight for you now it's on you the choice is on you what does this new path hold for you mm -hmm. ace of cups what is your ace of cups and your nine of cups what's your wish Leo, spirit is saying what do you want like, what is your wish? Your wish is my commands, almost. Wow. All because of Pluto, change brings a new opportunity. It's fresh. It's another start. It's another go at it. Mm. Mm. There's a metamorphosis. And things have ascended. They've changed. They've elevated. That's what's so good about this energy. Tell me in terms of work. Tell me in terms of Leo's purpose. For some of you, you're thinking about retirement right now. But you're not one that can just not do anything. So what's going on here? Some of you could be in between jobs. Others of you, I'm feeling you're kind of bored. You've been at your job, the same position for years okay spirit yeah all this new energy see when you calm down and you really get in tune with your higher self you are in the growing phases right now leo Spirit wants you to continue to water the seeds you have planted in order to reap the rewards. Some of you are cultivating and planting and watering some seeds. Like you're working on part two. There's a, a new version of you. Uh-huh. Be careful of limitations because a lot of times we start off with all this energy, anticipation, excitement, only for it to fizz out because then we doubt ourselves. There's fear and under Pluto, you have to be every bit of that strength card, confident, courage, ego, healthy, ego, pride. Mm-hmm. You get around any type of obstacle with some careful thought. See, that's why we got to stay calm and rational because that allows us to think carefully and choose what is the best choice. Pay attention to outside forces, Leo. Unknown figures are driving the situation. You may not be able to control the outcome, Things are going to shift no matter what. But Spirit wants you to know that you will be okay. What else does Leo need to know at this time, Spirit? As their perspective changes, you discover more about yourself. You get more with honey than vinegar. I just heard that. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Definitely a meditative, contemplative state. That's that thinking. Taking time to catch yourself and to think about it. And sometimes you don't respond at all. That is a response. 
like you really take time to pray on it for some of you so that you give the correct response right you don't always got to respond right in the minute in the heat of it all about cooling down and how that works for you others of you cast somebody carries a crystal carries a crystal with them that like brings them clarity calms them leave that in the comments tell us all the crystal that you carry all right what else spirit want to tell me something about love uh, oh he said just get the romance angel cards for leo specifically something else regarding this love the Two of Cups is here and the Five of Cups. So something happened, but mm, this person does come back, but there are some red flags still. Like they profess something that they can't deliver, I hear. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, this fresh start may not include them and that's okay yeah you too this is the past but spirit says a fresh start requires you to let go of the past and you know what there is passion there there but it's lust it's sex like you're physically attracted to them but this is not the one for you mm -mm. i don't when you really calm down and think about it Smarter, cooler heads will prevail. Mm -hmm. Let go of trying to control this. Allow love to unfold naturally. Okay. So in terms of this person coming back in, Spirit says, fresh start. That means something new. And to get something new, it requires you letting go of the past. So... Let's encourage Leo to let go of the past and let something new come in. Watch out for the signs leading you to true love. So you have to move. There is movement. You're being led. There's going to be signs. This is about you getting what you deserve. Mm hmm not entertaining the past. They're an ex for a reason, I just heard. Oof. Leo, I have to get this because it's you. It's the heart. It has something to do with the heart. And we know that you have a big heart. You're big hearted. And what's coming in, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel that it's right for you. Your heart's going to be faster. You know, this is love this is when true love comes in because there was something that is going to present some red flags letting you know mm -mm, that's not the fresh start we were talking about when the fresh start appears your heart is going to beat faster you're going to feel it on the inside what else spirit for leo's big heart yeah, this is also a time for you to let your heart lead the way. That's why Spirit says, let go of trying to control everything. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Remember also that divine connections are controlled by divine. That's why you can't control it. <laughs> yeah. It's time to think of everything that you want in a, and that you admire also. Everything that you want and that you admire in a partner. Because that's what's coming to you. That's what's being directed to you. And it's like as you clear the past, you make way for what's coming in. And this is about you focusing on that. Having time to be in contemplative thought. That's what's drawing it to you. Okay, Spirit. Let's summarize this for Leo. 
the uh, new moon, two new moons in December. And one of them has a fresh start for you. In your journey, there will be times when there is confusion. Seven of Cups, Reverse, and Seven of Cups, Upright. You have that. But know that these are really times of transition, transformation. Yeah, like these feelings are not going to stay here forever. You are transitioning to a better, stronger version of yourself. Shedding away old values and mindsets, outdated thinking. Mm -hmm. So you can get rid of all of those layers that you don't need anymore. Shedding those is what allows you to continue to keep growing, moving towards what you really deserve and desire. Okay, spirit. We're going to summarize with an angel number for Leo. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment. Allow this video to circulate so that other people can be encouraged to remain rational and not let anything take them outside of their self. Perseverance, change of perspective, 777. Let that remind you that your perspective is changing, needs to change. Something's going on with somebody's perspective and change at that time. There you go with the inner strength, the confidence, the courage, right? To face fear, doubt, uncertainty, and just do it anyway. You want something more, and that means you have to let go and face it and do it. You're wiser now. You've been enlightened here. There's a need for change of perspective. Okay, specifically, change of perspective. It did show up. The hangman was reverse. Mm-hmm. But I have no doubt that you are going to do what you need to do to reach the wisdom that is deep within you. You'll know the right next step when it comes to something you love or someone that you love. 777. All right. Thank you so much for staying till the end, Leo. I pray that... Your perspective aligns with your purpose and that you remain calm until you get excited. It's time to get excited again because something new is coming in with this new moon. Two new moons in December and they've got it's got your name all over it. It's like specifically for you. And until the next moon phase, Leo, namaste.